what's going on everyone today I want to discuss kind of how to lay out your fish room you know planning ahead because I think a lot of a big mistake that a lot of us make is essentially just getting so anxious to get those fish in there those tanks in there we don't plan how we're gonna lay everything out so uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got I kinda got going on you know um, my thinking behind everything as well as how I laid everything out and how many tanks I hope to get in there now this is the current uh, layout so it could always change you never know you know how we are so I started off with a rough sketch uh, the sketch basically details where certain items are existing in the room um, as well as you know dimensions for everything so I knew how much space I had to work with and where there were things that I couldn't really move or uh, what do you say uh, block right um, so essentially I ended up with a what was it a 19 foot 10 inch room by 19 foot 5 which is pretty good size I'm very happy with that um, but if you just throw tanks in there you'll figure out that <laughs> things won't actually work out the way you want because you know sometimes uh, you know you need hallway space you know you need spaces to walk and that can be difficult if you don't plan it out correctly because you might end up with too much over on this side and only leaving yourself a little small portion to where you can't put tanks on this wall so I wanted to make sure I had the option to cover the whole room if I wanted to. So I did mine on this, uh, I'm a computer aided drafter for those of you that don't know. Um, so I did mine on computer because I could play with it and essentially try to various different uh, items and see how they fit. Um, so there's certain things that you can't change like uh, cleaning supplies, that's, I needed storage for that, so that's going to stay there. That's for the household. And then I got a fridge, which is great for a, a fish room, right? You need a fridge uh, to keep your cultures or your frozen foods and such. Uh, then I got my 125 and 75 gallon tank that I've shown you guys, right? Uh, then over here I have a water heater, and I don't want to block that. So what I'm going to do is put a dehumidifier there. And uh, what that'll do is I can just roll it out the way if for whatever reason there's something here that I have to work on, right? Um, and then there's a water softener, uh, which I'll come back and touch base with you on that. And then I got the cable box, electrical panel, sprinkler system, you know, all things you don't really want to put anything in front of because you're going to have to get to. Uh, but essentially what I did is I laid out, you know, my 20 gallon racks. Um, those are the ones, 20 gallon lawns, the ones that I showed you before. Uh, those are going to be the first to go up. So I've kind of put where I want them at. Um, and I've left a gap between them so I know where my drain system will go once I get set up for an auto water change system. Uh, and what essentially I did is I laid out a bunch of different tanks of various sizes of different racks. Um, you can see at least you can't just count the aquarium size. You also got to include, you know, there's going to be wood at the end. Um, so you got to include that buffer, right? Because if not, you'll end up being short because each 2x4 this way is actually an inch and a half so that's an inch and a half that you won't have calculated if you just put the tank oh, excuse me um, and then if we go over here you know so essentially you got this room this room and this room so I did it in three different layouts uh, this one was basically max capacity because I wanted to do tens and uh, I was just trying to fill as many as I want or as I could in there because it's exciting to think about having a bunch of tanks so I could actually fit 135 total tanks in here by doing 10 gallon tanks with 20s on the end here but then when I gave it a long thought I was like I don't know if I really want all 10 gallon tanks uh, there's a lot of fish of various species that I want to keep and I think 10 gallon tanks kind of limits to what those species are so I decided to go over here and I went with uh, 10 gallon racks still and then instead of that I did 30 breeders over here um, now this was a pretty good layout I was pretty happy with it but then I changed my mind again right um, eventually I ended up going with this uh, just to let you know going back to the one with the 30 breeders that was 96 total tanks that way because once again I had double 10 gallon racks uh, but this is what I ended up liking the most and I think this is what we're gonna go with uh, so we're gonna do double 20 longs of course right uh, we're going to do one single rack of 10 gallons, and then behind that we're going to go 30 gallon breeders 
along with some 20s at the end because I couldn't fit quite fit another 30 gallon here um, so I figured I'd leave a gap and then I could uh, leave some live food cultures that uh, do well room temperature there or fish food you know any any basically anything you know is a uh, you always need a uh, shelf space when it comes to the fish room all right and then I'm gonna do some more 20 lawns on the end here now this section right here uh, I've left blank um, but you can see here for the drain system, I'm making sure I remember to leave a fitting for expansion if I ever decide to go out to this wall. Uh, basically, this it cannot be used currently because uh, one, I'm waiting on a shed, uh, and then I got other tools and stuff that I have there. So I'm going to leave it off. It's probably taking me a good while to get to this point anyway, so I'm fine with that. Uh, but you better believe that if I get the craze to uh, build out more, I probably will just get rid of this. So this is what you end up with, 72 total tanks, um, which is quite a few tanks. Um, so it'll be uh, definitely a good way to get some experience with a lot of different species of fish. And then of course you got your your in and out fluctuation, right? Sometimes I'm gonna have something, might sell it, or who knows, you know, you're, we're always changing fish. So that's my layout. Um, and that's why it's so important to lay this stuff out because one thing that made me change it is you know I wanted that larger space between racks uh, even here you know if, if you just lay it out kind of like how I did here uh, I might have thought I could fit three uh, three stacks of 30 breeders and I actually can't you know it's, it's only like a few inches off which stinks you know but if I didn't count my two by fours I might have thought they would fit there and I might have made that mistake so it's really important just to plan this stuff out and uh, see what was going to work best and what you're going to be happiest with because you can see even drawing it out I changed my mind three times and uh, it's one of those things where it, I, I don't even know if this is going to be the final you know uh, but it's a lot of fun to play with to see what I could get and also the, these down here I'm thinking double 75s and a 125 down here uh, and then I can run my uh, horizontal drain line behind them because I've seen fishers where they're just in like the hallway and I really don't want that uh, I don't want to accidentally trip over or I'm like you know I have kids uh, so I'm trying to cover it up as much as possible the reason I brought up the softener earlier was because I was originally going to run a carbon block off my sprinkler system you know it's kind of a typical thing that most people do to dechlorinate their water but now my water softener broke so I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to incorporate that into where I can dechlorinate my water um, of course I gotta avoid salt water softeners be, uh, or is it not salt water softener? I'm not sure what it's called the ones that have salt in them uh, because you know plants and tanks don't do very well with salt in the water so uh, you know I gotta see what's available um, I did talk to someone in my aquarium society, so I may already have a solution, but I did want to ask you guys if maybe you guys had any ideas or know anyone that does something with their softener uh, that they can use for a freshwater fish system. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have. I don't know what happened there, so <laughs> sorry for the abrupt cut there, but uh, yeah, if you guys want to join me on this journey to get my fish room built, um, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can catch all the videos I have documenting it process um, also I have other videos of course you know I like to mix it up uh, from fish room tours you know I also got this little nano tank behind me that I'm gonna be doing aquascape on which will be my first time aquascaping and I got a contest coming up so wish me luck guys uh, and then also don't forget to hit that thumbs up and they can uh, support my channel a little bit it really helps uh, channels grow uh, it shows that you, that you like the video and uh, sometimes YouTube will help support it by uh, showing it to or suggesting it to other people so until next time, guys, see ya!